Okay, it's 4.30, so we're just going off for our first training run of the week. Weather's not too bad, feeling exhausted. Having a bit of trouble with my knee, but I think when we start running, I should run it off. Let's see how we go. Comes a fucking rain. Oh, fucking beautiful. I think that was meant to be art of some sort. Okay, so that's half marathon done and in the bag. My calf, my fucking knee as well absolutely causing me agony at the minute. It doesn't hurt when I'm running, but it's when I stop and walk that it starts killing and uh, playing up and becoming inflamed. Alrighty, 8.46, we're on the way to the office. One of the things that I'm gonna be working on for myself personally as part of my personal development is not being as rigid with routines and put myself under pressure. I put myself under far too much pressure in the morning, or I have been, with timings. Going for that run, trying to get my breakfast in, trying to make sure that I leave in the office, trying to make sure that I'm in at eight or half eight. And it's not good. And it's what has, I think, ultimately, underlyingly, been burning me out um, with my energy levels. And although I've been clinical with everything, I don't think you can always work to that highest standard and level without burning out and that's definitely what happened you know when going to that mastermind last week really opened up my eyes in that respect that <clears throat> you're grinding yourself into the ground james and there has to be a point where you take some pressure off so i was like today i'm going in for nine o'clock i want to see the kids go in i just want to enjoy my morning and build up and that's part of that morning routine is taking that time out and recognizing that and now this morning, because I've got that attitude and mindset, I don't feel under pressure. I'm not beating myself up that I'm in the office at 8.45 rather than 8.30 or 8.15. I've been able to enjoy the kids, enjoy the morning, enjoy my breakfast, been able to digest it, and now feel actually quite mentally well prepared to go in for the, to work and do my, do my thing. Man, it's good to be in the office. Getting ready to get to work after being out of here for nearly week and a half. Let's just look at this vision board. Let's have a look at what we're achieving. Okay, remember the mission. This was my vision board. So, blue belt, tick. Feeling calm, yes. 100 miler. Mm. Traveling adventure, yep, going to Portugal. Went to the Belfry, I'm happy with that. Hopefully planning to go to Thailand in December, it's on the cards. Um, New book is being done right now. Let's get that on there. Oh, good, good. Fucking thing. Right, take two. Um, golf. Yep, I am actually going to phone to book lessons today. You can hold me accountable. Home, been done. Marriage, put on hold to next year. Just need to make sure Jem's the right girl. Family, baby during six weeks. Making an impact. Um, getting the balance right, vision, time domination, those things are going well. Um, yeah, so we're doing all right on our vision board. For the first two hours in the office, I'm going to be putting together my content course. Um, it's like a nine module course, so I've got tons of filming to do. So the first two hours of doing anything is making sure that I get underway, get out to a really good start and just nail these videos, ready to launch this brand new course in maybe six to eight weeks. I can't wait, it's gonna be amazing. Cool, really great day, really productive day. Got loads done, uh, lots of filming done for the new course, sorting out some other bits and pieces like you probably wouldn't even give a fuck about. Um, good meeting as well with the team. 
feel like things are back on track, feel like I'm organised, uh, lots of things moving in the direction I want them to, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna go home, meet the boy for school, I'm gonna have a bit of range time on the golf. Uh, oh. Fuck that up, phone fell off. Um, gonna have a bit of range time, work on the swing, got a phone to get some lessons booked. In fact, I'm gonna do that in the car. Okay, done it. First golf lesson booked, Wednesday at 11 o'clock. Come on. I'm gonna win that fucking cup in Portugal, I'm telling you. Got a lot of work to do. Cool, it is quarter past three. Just picked up the boy. I've got 45 minutes now. I'm gonna do my wrap up, just finish the last little bits I haven't quite got done for today. Plan tomorrow, then go and hit the range. Right, it's 4.20. Motherfucker, I've left the door open. This door. No. Is it this one? No. Wanker, fucking hell. Right, I'm on the way to the golf range. I'm half an hour over. I wanted to finish a little bit later, but I did want to finish all the tasks that I had on. I had more tasks than I'd like. So plan tomorrow, all ready to go. This is my unwind time now to chill out. So it's quarter past seven, just making dinner. My mummy puts little one to bed. I've got these new kitchen knives from the in-laws and they are like fucking like razor blades. They're amazing. I must get back into cooking. Now that we've got a bigger kitchen, um, I definitely want to start cooking. I used to cook a lot when I was in the military, ironically enough. I'd have the kids over the weekend and I used to cook pastas and fucking desserts and all sorts, loads of dishes and I used to love it. And I still love cooking. I love watching cooking programs. We just never get around to it. You're like, well, fuck it, I need a decent cookbook. So I'm gonna buy myself a decent cookbook this week whilst I'm on it, like booking in um, golf lessons and etc. So I'm gonna do, be proactive and I'm gonna find a cookbook and I'm gonna fucking start cooking. You watch this space, mark my words.